dependencies. The Gradle build system in Android Studio makes it easy to include external binaries or other library models to your build as dependencies. The dependencies can be located on your machine or in a remote repository and any transitive dependencies that they declare are automatically included as well. So in this tutorial, we are going to describe the types of dependencies and we will see how to implement a dependency. Before we start, if you want to learn Android app development, Java, Kotlin, data structures and algorithms, and other programming courses, you came to the right place. Hit subscribe to join our family and hit the bell to ensure that you don't miss any lesson. To add a dependency to your project, specify a dependency configuration such as implementation in the dependencies block of your build.gradle file. So let's move to the build, the Gradle scripts in the project, select the project, select Android, and select the build.gradle at the level of model. So please go back to the Gradle as a lesson in order to learn more about the Gradle. So if you want to master Android app development in both the Java and Kotlin languages, learn Java from zero and learn Kotlin from scratch, master data structure and algorithms in C and Java, join my Udemy bestseller courses to start publishing your own apps. Get the coupons from the description below. We select this file, and these are the dependencies that I'm talking about. I am I'm going to, to remove them just for declaring and showing the different types of dependencies. Okay, so the first one is the local library model dependency. How to make it? This is the local local library the model dependency. We start by implementation and we select the project. And here we specify the name of the package or the model that you have created. So this is an advanced thing that you have to create your own library and your own model that we'll see through the course in the advanced sections, how to create uh, your own library. But I should mention it in order to uh, declare th this type of implementation will declare as a dependency on an Android library model named my library. For example, this name must match the library name defined in the include with the build settings dot gradle. So when you you identify that your library should put its, its name here and you include it exactly here in the dependencies. When you build your app, the build system compiles the library model and packages the resulting compiled contents in the app. This is the local library and we are not interested till now we, we, in order to learn it. We have also the local binary dependency. dependency. So we start by implementation of file tree and we start by dir directory. We put libs, which is the library, and we include includes the jar for example, any name here or the star dot jar. So Gradle declares dependencies on jar files inside your project's model underscore name libraries. So this is the project. This is the app project. And if I scroll here, if I select the project, I see that there is in the app, the app model, we have a file called lips. So Gradle declares dependencies on jar files inside your project's model name and libs file or directory because Gradle reels paths relative to the build.gradle file. 
Alternatively, you can specify individual files as follows. So I can put here, uh, not the directory of libs, I can put here the implementation of, like if I need to read the files, from where? From the libs folder slash um, if I have a photo jar, if I have a library included inside the libs folder, it's named as foo, I can include it. And I need to specify here the name of the library also, bar.jar. Okay, this is the binary, local binary dependence. And we are also not interested in these models. We are interested, and we will see it many times in the uh, in, in the in later on in the projects and in dependencies because we are the, including the the complex views, the relatively uh, the relative uh, oh, sorry the recycler view and so on the car views and the many libraries that we are going to implement, like Retrofit, uh, Glide, and so on, we are going to add these dependencies here. So here is the remote, remote binary dependency. We start by implementation also for the com, dot example dot android app magic and its version so what does this mean this actually shorthand for the following the implementation for the group the group of android.com the android.example dot android or, or com dot example dot android this is the group this is the name, app magic, and this is the version, which is 12.3. This declares a dependency on version 12.13 of the app magic inside the package com.example.android namespace group. Remote dependencies like this require that you declare the appropriate remote depositories where Gradle should look for the library. If the library does not already exist locally, Gradle pulls it from the remote site when the build requires it, such as when you click on the sync project here, sync now, it will go and search for it locally, and then it will start uh, downloading it from the uh, internet. This is, that we, uh, this is about the dependencies. Now let's move take an example, a real example, all about the implementation of library.